part two of how to uh, repair a pull starter on a lawnmower, uh, how to do the spring and how to do the string on it. Hi, the most common faults on uh, lawnmower starters is that the uh, string will snap or the spring will snap. Also, you've got to consider these uh, the little white tags that, that fly out when you pull the starter, they can break off as well. Yeah, most uh, pull starters on mowers are different sizes, uh, either big or small, or they have different thicknesses of strings or that. Uh, but it doesn't really matter, the same principles on pull. Okay folks, here we are, we've got the uh, pull starter with me now. Uh, what we're looking at now is the, the, the handle. The handle can come off in a number of ways, off the old string that has snapped or etc. What you do is you either pull it out from the side here, or it has a cap on the top to take off. Pull it off, cut the knot off and take the handle, put it to one side. When you've done that, um, your main object then is to get the old string off by getting a pair of pliers and just gently get getting in here like this and pulling the old string out from the pulley. Once you've done that, you can unwrap the old string off the pulley and then once you've done that, Pull the knot out here, pull the old string and get rid of it. Get the new string then, which is the new string here. What you'll do is you'll introduce and what you'll do is introduce a knot on the end of it, and then you will thread it through through where the old string came out and match it up level with this hole here, and then that will come out through there like that. But just to give you a tip, do not cut your string because uh, String may be too short then to wrap around. There not, might not be enough string to wrap around the collection coil inside. So um, what you do is is you pull pull the string back out. So let's just say this is a new string on here now. So what we're doing now is we're tightening as I'm pulling that out. That is tightening tightening the spring there. The idea then is, is to, as the spring is tight, you let go of the spring and then the cord should go in cording on its own. So what that's doing is slacking the spring off because it's under tension now and then it's slackening the spring off so that's how it draws back in. And then what you do is then you connect your starting handle on the end of the string but just give you a bit of advice. Do not cut your new string, it might be quite a fair length, do not cut it until you tighten the spring up and, re and, and uh, put the string back around the coil because you may find you might cut the string too short and not have enough string to go around the pull starter. Okay.